there's stipulations to you being somebody's friend, right? Because me, me and you, I can't just walk up to you right now and be like, hey, sis, you my friend. You be like, nigga, I don't know you. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? So watch this. Read. Uh, watch this. The book of John, chapter 15 and verse 14. Come on. Ye are my friend. Christ said what? God said what? Ye are my friend. You are his friends. If. If. Two letter word. Stipulation. If is a stipulation. Okay. You are my friends. If. Ye do whatsoever I command you. You see that? Christ said you are his friend if you do what he commands you to do. Oh, but Christ is forgiving God and redemption. Oh, that's, see, look, you, you know what you just spoke out your mouth? You just spoke the words of this white boy right here. Oh, the white man, okay. You just, okay. What, what religion do you believe in? I believe in Jesus. What religion? Christ. It's not really a religion. That's more like the shoe brand. I believe in God. Look, God said if you were his friend, you would do whatever whatsoever he commands yeah, you. But, but what you just spit out your mouth is, is, is the, stuff, uh, but, uh, the, the same thing that these white boys taught our people. Love. But God is love. He, so you're like, right. He is love. So like, the love of his, is his commandments. Guess what? But if you love, love me. Spirit. So his spirit is going to give you discernment. So you're going to be able to find Discernment God of what? A discernment of what? No, God, discernment, no, God's love gives you the discernment between good and evil. Good and and our people and don't understand the difference between good and evil. Because if you understood the difference between good and evil, sister, listen to me. I'm, I'm going to hear you. I'm listening to everything you're saying. I'm, I'm listening to everything you're saying. Discernment is supposed to give you, I mean, uh, uh, God's commandments, his love is supposed to give you the discernment between good and evil. What you should do and what you shouldn't do. That's what God's uh, 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 love gives you. Now, if That's we had that, listen, discernment. sister, listen, just hear me. If we had that discernment, we would we would know what today is and how to conduct ourselves on today, well, according to God. To discern the will of good and evil. The will, exactly. The spirit, the spirit Guess what? Do you know? Do you know buying and selling on the Sabbath is an evil thing? Again, but Jesus also he also now you broke the Sabbath. Jesus also broke the Jesus Sabbath. Jesus never broke the Sabbath. Jesus also broke the Sabbath. He never broke the Jesus, Sabbath. It's in the Bible. Jesus, I know it's. It, but what you what you what you're quoting? He didn't he didn't break the Sabbath. He, he was, they, they was against him because he, was, he was, they were hypocrites and he was teaching the truth. Again, That's why they were was, against he him. Went out, he went out and was teaching on the Sabbath. And they, he was That's not breaking the Sabbath. the Sabbath. But again, that was against their rule back then. So no, that it was wasn't. Against, okay. That was a man-made religion. Right. I, I that was just like Christ. Give me All that right. in Matthew chapter 7. And I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that the the stuff that the Pharisees taught was of man. There were men's traditions. They were of man. They wasn't of God. Give me that in Matthew 7. About the traditions of man. The Read book that. of Matthew, we, we chapter 15 oh, and verse 4. Uh -huh. oh, go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For God, for uh, verse 3. But he answered and said unto him, Come on. unto them, Why do ye transgress the commandments of God? So we transgress, the sisters just sat up here and said, I do this, I do that, because Christ did. No, Christ said, Why do you transgress the laws of God? By your tradition. By the traditions of these people. What's going on? Why do we transgress the laws of God for the traditions of for, of these men? What's your question, brother? Uh, no, I'm fine. I just want to know with you guys. I don't understand what you say. You don't uh, understand oh, what we say? Yeah, I don't understand what you say. And, uh, What's your nationality? Uh, Mexican. But all my grandson's family is black, you know. And Mexican? No, no. Yeah. Come here. Let me show you. Come here. I'm fine, I'm fine. No, 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 come on, come really, on. Really, really, really. Come on, uh, come on, come on over here, uh. Let me show you. So you said Mexican, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, Mexican. Look at, look at this. Yeah. What this say? Mexican. Aztecs, Aztecs right? Right. That's slave, slave name. I know. Yeah. God calls you Issachar. Yeah. God calls you Issachar, right? Mm -hmm. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. You understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. Okay, understand what Bible say now. Rush this, read this, understand Bible say. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Come on, because you're not a Mexican. That's slave name. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't roll with slave name. Okay. We don't roll with slave master. Right, okay. We're going to roll with God, okay? God calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Yeah. Let me show you what he told the tribe of Issachar. Read. And now Israel. And now Israel, because you did. What's your name, brother? My name is Rogelio. Huh? Rogelio. Rogelio? Yeah. How you doing, Rogelio? Right, how are you, so God is telling you, Rogelio, watch this. Watch what he told Rogelio. Come on. And now Israel. And now Rogelio. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Because God requires something of the children of Israel. He requires something from the children of Issachar. You're a child of one of the 12 tribes. 
one of the uh, uh, patriarchs, one of the, the, the founders of the Israelites, which is the tribe of Issachar. Come on. But to fear the Lord thy God. Rogelio, he's commanding you to fear him. The Shariah right there? No, no, no. No? no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Sis, so, you Mexican too? Yeah, well, I'm Puerto Rican. You Puerto Rican? Yeah. You know that's a slave name? What? Yeah, I see the look on your face. <laughs> Give yeah. me the flyer. You know, the, the, the nationality Puerto Rican is uh, uh, is something. To, don't read, Rogelio. Oh, the, the nationality Puerto Rican, is it, it comes from uh, uh, the background of a slave. What does Puerto Rican mean? It means rich port. Who was the rich port? The people that they conquered over there and colonized. So when you call yourself Puerto Rican, sister, you literally call yourself a slave. So watch this. Can you see this sign from over there? You can? What this will say right here? Puerto Rican. That's the, that's the slave of it. God calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, sis. That's what that's that's your nationality. You are an Israelite woman from the tribe of Ephraim. Bring it up. Why don't you know that? How old are you? Okay. Twenty-two. Why haven't you learned that? Why are you calling yourself Puerto Rican? Because there's because it's designed to keep you deaf, dumb, and blind to who you are. You get what I'm saying? Do you believe in God? Yeah. Why it took you so long to answer that? No, I just ain't got nothing to do with no religion. Did, have, have you went into a have you you've been to church before, right? Yeah. When have you went to church and they told you you wasn't a Puerto Rican? Never. So guess what? This I, this is what I'm showing you. This ain't got nothing to do with no religion. Right. It has everything to do with your history and your heritage. I didn't start off asking you to sow a seed and give a blessing. That's what the church do. That's what religions do. I I my in, in, uh, initial question to you was what's your nationality? Why? Because there was a people, give me Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. There was a people stripped of their heritage and their nationality and they don't know who they are today. Guess who that people is? You. Because guess what? I asked you what's your nationality and I told you what, what Puerto Rican means and where it come from. You were shocked. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, Judah, deal with her, Jew. I want to deal with my sister. Sister, what's your name? 
Huh? Royal? Hey, you know what you know what the crazy thing about that is? You actually are royal. No, 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 because look, God, the Israelites are a royal people. That's crazy, your name is that. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. Come on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. You see that, sister says, they that hate you lifted themselves up. Come on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. What is the crafty counsel? Change your name from Ephraim and make you a Puerto Rican. That's, ain't that crafty to take away what you originally are and then give you something that they made up? That's a crafty thing, sis. Watch this, read. And consulted against the, against thy hidden ones. And consulted against the hidden ones. Why are we called hidden ones? Why, why, why are we refer, being referred to as the hidden ones right here? Because it was already prophesied that we would lose our heritage. Remember, if, 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 if I, you, you, this nationality, you claim it to be this, but you really are what's behind my back. Didn't I hide it from you? I, it, you're, the, you're the hidden ones that the Bible's speaking of, uh, Sister Royal. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Come on. They have said, come and let, let us cut them off from being a nation. What did they do to us? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. You see what they did to you, sis? They cut you off from being a nation. Get they out. cut you off from being Israel and turned you into a Puerto Rican. God said that, that, would, that, that these people would do this to you. How? Through colonization. Taking your records and replacing it with what they want you to know. They did this to you. Come on. And that the name of Israel. That the name of what? That the name of Israel Come on. may be no more in remembering. You see what they did to you? They conquered you so bad that your nationality, your name, which is Israel, shall be what? No more in remembering. You see how this has happened? Now the prophecy is coming to pass because when I ask you your nationality, you tell me Puerto Rican. You don't remember your name. You don't remember your nationality. You don't remember where you come from. You don't remember your purpose. You have a better, you have a bigger purpose than driving around America and Sacramento about to get gas from AMPM. That's not your purpose of life. Your purpose of life is to know where you come from. Them your kids in the back? Well, don't you think, boy and girl, 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 boy and girl, don't you think, sis? No, don't worry about that. He ain't gonna, don't put it on camera. There you go. That problem solved. Okay, look. So, look, sis, don't you uh, know, what, don't you think your son need to know where he come from and how royal he is? That's right. Don't you think that your daughter need to know that she, she need to grow up? Are you married? No. Do you want that for your daughter? No, 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 no. Do you want your daughter to be somebody's baby mother? Let's be honest here. No, but guess what? We wasn't taught that. You got a chance to teach her that the right way. Because guess what? I, I, my mom and dad taught me a little bit. They taught me not to go out and get have sex. And But I became a father at 14 years old. So did I listen to them? Hell no. I became a dad at 14 years old. And now my oldest daughter is somebody's baby mother. Because we wasn't taught the royalty in, I, I didn't get taught the royalty in my blood. She didn't get taught the royalty in her blood. You're not married and you're somebody's baby mother because you wasn't taught the royalty in your blood. If you, if you were taught the royalty in your blood, you would have a husband. And I'm not, and I'm not shaming you for anything. I want to, I want to, I want to put that out there now because that's why I put myself in it. I, I was the same way. I was actually younger. I didn't know the royalty in my heritage, and I did what looked it good in the world. But when you know your purpose as a royal person, give me that. Uh, give me that in uh, Genesis. Uh, what Israel mean? Give me that in Genesis. I want to show you what the, the, what the name Israel actually means, sis. Because your your nationality means something. Just like I told you, Puerto Rican means rich port. You're not the rich port of the world. 
right now. So why, why, why are they calling you Puerto Rican? You see what I'm saying? Israel, everything has a meaning behind it. Let me show you what Israel means. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Watch this, sis. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Come on. But Israel. But what? But Israel. Sister, but Israel. Watch what Israel means now, sis. For as a prince hast thou power with God. You see what Israel means? Israel means prince or princess that has power with with God. That that's what your that's what your true nationality means. And when you take on that nation and when you come back to that nationality, you actually show that you have that you are a princess that has power with God. You get what I'm saying? Your your nationality means everything. It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with your culture and how we are bringing our children up. Your son is a prince. Your daughter is a princess. But how could they ever how could they ever know or acknowledge those things if it's never taught to them? You see what I'm saying? You, sister, are a princess. But we did we grow up knowing these things? No. Why? Because we don't know our heritage. What is the nation? <laughs> the nation is men leading by example.